quick look at the dashboard elements um, and you could see that it, they're all relatively self-explanatory. Um, you've got a drop down here. You've got a switch node, which is a switch where you could turn things on and off. You've got a slider. You've got some numeric input. Um, you've got text input, so you could ask the user to input some text and do something with that. You've got a date picker, which could be pretty cool if you want to make some kind of a scheduler. Um, you could pick different colors. You've got a form input, so you could collect more structured data, a text, a gauge, a chart, audio out, so you could do text to audio and actually do um, audio user interface and actually create a audio user interface. It does text to speech, pretty neat stuff. Notifications, so that'll pop up right in the web browser. UI control and template are a little more advanced. You could have a look at them and um, that'll let you change things on the fly a little bit. And right now I just wanna show you the button. So let's go over the button real quick. And what I really wanna point out is the icons. So in Node Red, the default icon set is from Material Design. So it's these material.io slash icons. And here you could see any of the icons that are available to you. And you just basically take this text and that's what you put in your node here. So we'll type that in there and that's it, we're done. You could deploy that guy. I'll get a warning because I didn't assign these to any group and we'll see that we've got that help icon right there. Now, if you wanna use font awesome icons, because they're awesome, right? <laughs> so if you wanna use any of these, that's uh, at fontawesome.com slash icons. Again, you would just take the text. So let's find something cool here. I don't know, we'll just say Angular. So we'll take Angular and you need to precede that with an FA. So here in the icon, you have to say FA dash, and then you type in the name of the icon. And that's how Node Red knows to use the font awesome icon instead of the material design one. Now, of course, it is grabbing these icons from the internet, so your Raspberry Pi will need to have internet access if you want to take advantage of these icons.